So let me ask you, Jesse, how do you juggle? I mean, you have to take care of school and plus the set stuff. How, how do you make both sides of your brain work on that? I don't know. I think you just get used to it because it's it's the same thing every day. It's you got to get your school done, you got to go to work, and you got to know your lines and do your homework and get everything done all together. And at first, it was really, really overwhelming. I think, and it got it was kind of difficult at first. But I mean, we do this every day. We've been we've been doing it for like three years now. So it's you just kind of get used to it, and you just deal and you do it. You just get everything done. Because you had a very emotional scene which was very nice, by the way. Oh, thanks. And you're out there doing it. How can you just, like, say you have a test or something coming up here. Can you just, like, once you walk into that building, just, it's out, just so you can concentrate? Yeah. You just learn to snap in and out of your school mode, and then your, your work mode. I don't know how, you know, healthy that is or whatever, but it seems to be working fine. I do good on all my tests and everything. So it's, it's, it's okay. Um, how important is, because some people may think, you know, why does she have to worry about school anymore? Hey, she's not a hit show, blah, 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 blah. How, how, how important, important is school? Yeah. School's really important, I think, because one thing you got to get through high school, and I totally believe in um, graduating from high school, and I'm going to college, definitely, hopefully on the East somewhere. Um, I think that, I mean, you have to be educated just for life, for one, and this isn't going to last forever. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be doing this forever, and I know I need something else to, to, to be doing so it's not just my whole life is is this because then you get kind of I don't know you just get kind of kind of flat and boring it's like all I do is do you know seven heaven I have no other interests I have nothing else I want to do I think that's kind of limiting myself and I don't know school's fun and I'm really excited to go to college I think since I haven't really had a high school experience I mean I have because I go to high school but I don't get there every day and I think it'll be really refreshing to go to college and be with a whole bunch of kids and, and living in a dorm or wherever I am going to be and just kind of be a kid in school again. I think it'll be fun. So you go to what, like a real school once a week to report or? Um, Many time we have a day off or if I have a later call, I'll just go for a couple hours and get a couple classes done. Or um, if I don't make it at all one week, we'll just go and I'll give them my work that I finish and they'll give me new homework for the week or a couple weeks. So do your friends think you have it easy because you're hardly there, you know, it's like... Yeah, yeah, I think so because I, I kind of get out of things. Like if, like I had this, I had this paper due and I didn't, get, didn't come to uh, school for like two weeks. So I had like two extra weeks to do it. So I mean, there's little advantages like that, but then you miss out on all the lectures, all the, all the um, speeches, anything they're talking about. Um, like in chemistry, my, my chemistry t teacher just lectures and expects you to take notes from your lectures and the tests are on the lectures. So I get completely, I don't, ha I don't know what's going on in the class and that's what's really tough. Um, but I think they think I have it pretty easy and I really don't. I mean, I, sometimes I'm, I, I get a little, they, they're lenient for me. But others it's just a lot of work and it starts piling up. Because as you see, I mean, I haven't been in school at all today. And I have a couple hours to do school and go to lunch and get to soccer pra practice and get home and, you know, just a whole bunch of stuff to do. So this show's in its third year. Mm -hmm. you know, doing well. Do you remember, like, the first time you were really recognized out in public because of the show? Somebody asked me for my autograph one time, and I asked them for theirs. <laughs> I don't know why, but I felt really stupid, so I, asked, well, I said, okay, if I can have yours. And so I traded autographs with this kid, I think. Well, yeah, and that's the first time. That was the first time, and it was weird.